our God is not partial. Our God is just. Glory to God. Most certainly, there are people who have uh, wronged you in the past, who have done evil against you, and then they have been. They have. Uh, they have. Some of them have had a repercussion based on how they treated you. Now, most times, God will not reveal their punishment to you because God knows that you will gloat yourself. Aha, I told you my God is a consuming fire. You know, so God will not reveal them to you. You know, uh, you know, God, now if you, because if you, are, if you are trying to, because God knows that, you know, if he reveals some of them to you, you pride yourself, you know, and then satisfy your flesh. In that regards, that is the reason why the Bible says, Bless them that curse you. See, I pray for them, you know, who hurt you and despisefully use you. Now, God has to give us these principles to enable us to free our spirit from clogging. Because God is, they don't worry, I will deal with whatever I need to deal with. What matters is that you keep your spirit clean. Glory to God. Because, uh, because naturally, we will not pray for our enemies. Uh, because God knows that if you can open your mouth and say, God forgive you, then somewhere, somehow, your spirit is not clogging. When we deal with the concept of theodicy, you know, it, um, it does not require the move of God to allow anything to happen to anybody you know who is within or outside God's will which means God doesn't have to do anything you know when you choose not to follow his will God doesn't have to send an angel or release the whole release all the angels because you fail to follow his will thank you Holy Spirit so God have God, God doesn't have to do that because you walk out of his counsel God doesn't have to do that why because you must understand book of Ephesians make us understand that God have laid the foundations of the world you know even before we got here so uh, everything is in place there's nothing that God left out there's nothing that God, you know, uh, you know, forgot to put in place because, uh, because automatically, when you choose not to walk according to God's principle, we open the windows to allow trouble to come on our pathway. The moment you choose, I'm not going to follow God. Then what you have said is, I don't care what happens to me. God have mercy. Now, the reason why uh, Christians or believers of a better word, uh, you know, are worried about enemies. Haven't you seen believers when a witch in the village I will deal with you? They forget their Bible. They can't even remember, you know, praying in tongues anymore. Now, they are worried to see, they are worried to death because one witch, you know, have, you know, uh, warned them or has threatened them. Now, uh, or about, and the reason why we worry about our enemies is because, you know, we are not walking within the principles of God. It's because we are walking outside of God's, you know, uh, principles. I will not uh, be worried to a, to a point of losing my peace. If, I'm, uh, if my wife is flipping through my phone, for instance, uh, I will not be worried if I'm not cheating on her. You see, I mean, uh, but if I'm cheating on her and then she, she grabbed my phone, I said, please drop it. Or I'll put all the kind of combination to make sure that she doesn't have access. Praise God. You know, now, anytime you are walking outside God's principle, uh, it depletes your faith to even want to engage with God. Or oh, the devil is a liar. Now, you must understand, you know, uh, it doesn't matter how gifted you are. You know, the gifts can be, you know, can, can be shining, pouring down like grease. You know, it doesn't matter how that gifting is. Uh, it, uh, it's, your, it's your character that contains your giftings. In other words, uh, uh, if we, you know, it, it doesn't matter how much powerful your gift is. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how powerful how wonderful it is how inviting your gift is it doesn't matter how uh, much you know your gift you know really ring bell praise God uh, uh, without character ladies and gentlemen nobody will use your gift your gift you know is uh, is you know is housed you know on your character and that's are sometimes some people are very gifted and they say well he has these proclivities i can't deal with that i'd rather take somebody who is an apprentice than to take this ex 
excellent professional, but the character is nothing to write about. To some of us, you know, uh, we are standing by the grace of God. We are standing by, you know, by God's mercy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, the Bible says, take heed lest you fall. You know, there are some believers, there are some Christians who believe, uh, I can't fall. You know, uh, sometimes we pride ourselves. I am a child of God. I am a man of God. You know, uh, uh, I pray, you know, the, the five hours, ten hours, not stop you know i am the anointed of the lord and then uh, and then uh, which is great but don't be drunk with yourself uh, to the point of now becoming vulnerable because you must understand uh, you know there's no amount of what you know the devil knows too uh, that's why we look. That's why. That's why I tell people when you read your bible look at where to read because the devil also spoke in the bible <clears throat> you know so you don't want to be reading the devil's lines glory to god Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So, as a child of God, you can be standing for God. You can be living by the word of God. Walking in the ambience of God's grace. You know, you can be walking in the principles of God. No matter how wonderful you are, there is a moment of just one percent. Uh, if God had not stepped in and blocked you and changed the dial, you would have completely gone outside God's principle. Praise God. If God had not stepped in, somehow you would have gone out. And there are some cases when you have gone out of God's principle due to what you want. But somehow, the mess of God still try to see that you don't completely go overboard. Praise be the name of the Almighty God. 